So the Shatter Backboard 3.0s are releasing soon. Let's check it out. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay here, and you guys see it, man. The Shattered Backboard 3.0. Man, this month has been crazy so far. A couple Sakai has dropped today. We got a Travis Scott release dropping very soon. And of course, we have the long-awaited Shattered Backboard 3.0s. I got my dog in the background just chilling. It's her nap time, so she's gonna be, you know, walking around and doing her thing back there. But man, I'm excited to bring you guys this early review, courtesy of my family over at GOAT. When it comes to early pairs, a lot of the times it could be a very sketch deal. You don't know where the shoe was coming from. So I like to make sure that everything is 100% authentic before I go ahead and show it to you guys and make a video on it. So I want to give a huge thank you to GOAT for making sure everything is 100% authentic. But now you should already know about the app, but if you guys don't, go ahead and check it out. I have the down link down below in the description. And hey, if you guys want an early pair, there might be some more on there as well. Getting right into it, we have our ordinary Air Jordan 1 box. Jordan Brand still hasn't changed this up and I'm waiting to see what they could bring next for the Air Jordan 1. Actually, I stand corrected because they did change up this label a little bit. It's not like our ordinary Jordan 1 label that we're used to seeing. It's like what came on the Obsidians. Very small and very thin label. These are super weird to me. I don't know. I'm just not used to it yet. But hey, we're not here for the box. We are here for the shoes. For those of you guys that have been into sneakers for a while, you already know the Shattered Backboard 1.0 broke numbers, man. Resale value has increased drastically, and that's of course due to a number of factors. One of them being that that Jordan right there set a standard for all Jordan 1s that followed. I mean, go back and look at some Air Jordan 1 review videos. You'll see that a lot of people compare their Jordan 1s to having shattered backboard quality or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just a standard that was set after that shoe released. It was one of the highest quality Air Jordan 1s that have dropped and people went crazy. I remember I got my pair for about $400 back then and I thought that was kind of just splurging or doing a little bit too much. But now the price has gone up like crazy. The second version was a reverse shattered backboard. I had that pair too, but it wasn't my favorite to be honest with you guys. And now we have the third version of the Shattered Backboard series. Real quick release information, these will be releasing on October 26th, this month right now. October 26th, 2019 for $160 for men's size. And yes, the uppers are as shiny as you think they are. The pictures definitely capture that shine. Let's take a look at the shoe in a little bit more detail though. One of my favorite parts about the shoe has to be the outsole and midsole combination. I've seen some people complain that it doesn't have an orange bottom or a black bottom, but this cream outsole and midsole look looks so damn good in my opinion. When it comes to the Air Jordan 1, I prefer it worn. I prefer it almost beat looking. So when we get this look right here, it gives me that like worn vintage look and I absolutely love it. Now for this oil slick upper, I'm not really a huge fan of it to be honest with you guys. I will say though, after looking at it in person and holding it in hand, it does remind me a little bit of the gold toes and I wish that they hit it with that kind of patent leather feel. I think a smooth patent leather would have looked saucy on this, but the the uppers have this like weird crinkly like rumpled paper effect and it's super glossy like this isn't even a patent leather I would say it's more of like a vinyl feel to it but yeah this is what a lot of people did not like about this shoe right here so there's people that love the shine there's people that hate the shine in terms of the colorway you can't go wrong with this color blocking style it's an OG style man you see it on the breads the shadows royals etc etc it has been done before but never in this orange color and I feel like you can't go wrong with that kind of color blocking. Let's have fun with this video though and comment down below one of your nicknames for this shoe. People said that this is a shoe dumped in Vaseline. They call it like the BP oil spills. Like what are you calling this shoe right here? Best name will win something in the comment section down below. If you've ever had a chance to own the original pair of shattered backboards, you would know that the insole had the rim with glass just like spreading out and going everywhere. And I thought that was a really nice touch on that sneaker. Unfortunately for this one, I feel like Jordan Brand wasn't thinking of everything concept wise, or they just didn't bring the little pieces together like they did with the first one. So we just got some ordinary black insoles with the Nike Air in orange. I wish they would have brought back that exact same insole or a different version of it. I thought that would be a really cool look. I just love it when companies include that extra touch in there. It just makes you feel like they actually thought everything out and they put a little bit more effort into it than something so basic like this black insole. Even though we got a black insole, we did get replacement laces. It came with some orange laces and this little baggie right here. I'm gonna be sticking with the black laces. I feel like that just looks more classic and orange might be doing a 
little bit too much since there's a lot of hits of orange already on this shoe. In terms of comfort, I feel like some Air Jordans fit a little bit differently depending on what they're made of with that outside material. For example, the gold toes that I have, they feel very stiff. Like up here, it feels almost exactly the same where it's like, okay, I gotta kind of break this in or I don't even know if it breaks in like that. Like, you gonna hurt somebody with this. It's like a brick in your hand. I'm not the biggest fan of this because I like that like plush feel. Like the shadow ones have that plush feel. Royals, breads, that gets like really squishy up here. But with this material, I, I don't know. It's a little bit stiff. Maybe it'll take a lot of wears to get that to break in, but that's something to note when you guys are looking at this shoe right here. Do I think they'll sell out? I definitely do. Even though it has a super glossy upper, I still feel like there's a lot of people that really dig that look. And it could also be one of those things that might just look weird at the beginning, but then after you see it so many times, your eyes get used to it. Almost like the Yeezy Wave Runners. Cause to be honest with you guys, I thought that shoe looked really funky at first, but then after seeing it so many times, it kind of just grew on me. And this might be one of those. That's just my opinion though make sure to drop your comments and your thoughts down below so i can go ahead and read them and don't forget to leave your roast names on the shattered backboard 3.0s in the comments section down below as well once again i want to give a huge shout out to go for authenticating these 3.0s and sending them out really early i wanted to go ahead and get this review out for you guys so you know what you're potentially getting yourselves into if you would like to see more early reviews also let me know in the comments down below or just hit the like button i really appreciate it and if you're new to this channel definitely make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy this content i'm gonna throw these babies on feet and let you guys go. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. I'm out. Peace.